these things seem a lot of a lot of action here. But uh, you can see a, a few things in there when you look around. Here. We have uh, the, the yeah, helmet no, cooler, which is this piece right here. Side. So that's the unit that drives cold air to their head. And we also have a cool suit when it gets really hot out. They'll sit right here and that'll pump cold water through their chest and their back on a little shirt they have that afterwards. Also here you can see a tiny little air compressor and that's the air compressor for the ship. For the air shift. Very relaxed. It's it's awesome. It's really like how long would a driver stay in when you ran twelve hours? Twenty four hours. Uh typically they ran double what we call double stents, it's almost two hours. But at the end one of the keys for us to win was running the three best drivers, the triple stent. And uh, we didn't have to do driver changes for the last three hours. Like wow. So that's what I'm saying. Say, did we do three? Oh, yeah. We did a three hour stint. Good. Yeah, wow. we, did. We, used, uh, we had 31 sets of tires. Um, it's about a set an hour. We didn't <coughs> do that, but more or less for the average. Other than, other than, the, good, yeah. other than that, the tire, what other maintenance would you do? Well, the brakes, we were just talking about the brakes. We went through um, the same set of rotors lasted the whole time, same wow. brake rotors. We went through wow. one set of front pads and one set of rear pads. Are those ceramic or are they uh, no, no, metal? No, steel. they're steel. They, it, we can't have carbon brakes. That, the Indy car, and I'll show it to you and let you guys feel it, has carbon and carbon brakes. Okay. Yeah. Your drivers have to refuel during the two hours. They, yeah, they come in and you can see the quick, you can see the fill over here. And uh, we don't use bottles like they do in NASCAR. We use overhead fuel rigs, which I'm going to show you guys. It's got a male, female dry brake here. It's boom, and then you release like this. It takes, uh, and it's got a restrictor in it. So they restrict our fuel flow to about 27 seconds to slow the whole pit stop down. You know, in NASCAR, they're always hurting people all the time. So in our deal, since they intentionally slow it down, it takes a little bit of the intensity off of it, although we're always trying to figure out ways to get it to be better. And that uh, takes a lot of the injury out of the crew guys, a lot. Do they change seats when they change drivers? We have inserts when we need to. So in this car, we had a couple inserts. Yeah, I, like between the two primary drivers for the year, we don't need an insert, which is great. Yeah, that's just another thing you got to do when you come in here. You can see everything sprung on surgical tubing. So when that when that belt releases, it pulls it out of the way. So the next guy getting in wow. doesn't sit on it. You can see all this is sprung, including including the window net that have to be up. So, so when when, I, when we open this door to change, hmm. pulls it out of the way, and you can see it puts it just like that. All you've got to do is grab this. The guy that helps, plug it in. Yeah. This, is, this is some of the stuff your engineers are figuring out to make things quicker. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Or you see it on the other car, Lloyd. Pardon? Or you see it on the other car. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Tomorrow, <laughs> that takes days to be observing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good example. I saw someone do this with what they're doing here, which is just put this little triangle in this tube right here, which helps hold this up instead of let it go down. And that saves a lot of time. Hey, Mike, yeah. when the Formula One cars commit for car change, they jack the whole car up at one time mm -hmm. and change all four times. Mm -hmm. How come NASCAR doesn't do that? Uh, NASCAR, just tradition. Tradition. Yeah, yeah, see, we use air right here. See, right, I've seen it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right there. And you, you can see the air jacks right here when you look in the cars. Yeah. So you just you just hit that boom. So what? So the guy that changes the left rear tire, he comes in here and hits this first, and then does his tire, and then he releases the car. Mm -hmm. And you can't fuel when you're doing it. Oh, yeah, we can. We can. When we do. We do. And I tell you, we had a bad problem last year with uh, Oswaldo, my Brazilian here. He, he, was, he got in the car, and, uh, and something happened, and, and the guy that was fueling my fueler got cocked out halfway in. It flowed fuel down his back. Oh, oh and he man. He got permanent scar. I mean, it boiled his back. Yeah. Oh, it, wow. cooked him. it cooked him hard. So when he came in for the next stop, we had to dump water down his back just to get him to survive. Jim Truman got that uh, several years ago, uh, about 30 years ago, in the KM series at Mid Ohio. Same thing. There was yeah. a yeah. at the time. Mm -hmm. He got roasted. Yeah. How many guys are allowed over the wall? Well, see, that's a, that's another thing. They don't. They only allow three uh, tire changers for four wheels.